So it appears like Apple have announced secretly without letting anybody know out of the blue the introduction of their new Apple AirPods Max and quite honestly they look quite hideous. They look like quite possibly the worst headphones on the market, especially for the price point that they are trying to, you know, sell them to us punters. Now, there's, of course, loads of competition out there for wireless over the ear headphones. So for Apple to come out with a product that looks the way it does um, for the price point that they're putting out there really beggars belief. But again, the one thing I do know about Apple fanboys, myself included, all it takes is one MKHD, MKHBHD, whatever um, review and we're all going to be queuing up to buy these things very very soon but so far it doesn't really pass the eye test for me um so this is an article a press release here from apple it says apple today announced airpod max um an innovative Ooh, an, an innovative wireless headphone that bring the magic of the airpods to an over over the ear design with a high fidelity sound the airpod max combine a custom acoustic design h1 chips and an advanced software to power computational audio from a breakthrough listening experience with the adaptive eq active noise cancellation transparency mode and spatial audio airpods max came in five gorgeous colors including space gray silver sky blue green pink and are available or uh, starting to order today with availability beginning uh, tuesday december 15th now off the bat i respect them for deciding to go for all colors except for black right because most headphones out there my ones included the hind hind size hind sennheiser hd 25 is my voice um they're all coming black right most headphones most headphones on the market mostly come in some sort of variation of a dark color so for them to go for everything apart from dark colors with the with the maybe exclusion of what's the darkest color they got here yeah a green that's a pretty um ad, that's a pretty that's a pretty cool thing to see and i'm assuming most of it has to deal with the it with your headphones maybe matching your iphone or your laptop case whatever it may be it continues airpods are the most popular headphones in the world beloved by the effortless setup incredible sound quality and incredible design with airpod air max um air max airpods airpods max we are bringing that magical airpod experience to the stunning over the ear design with high fidelity audio says greg giles like apple senior vice president of worldwide marketing the custom acoustic design combined with the powerful h1 chips and advanced software um enable airpod max to use the computational audio to wirelessly deliver the ultimate personal listening experience now look wise i wonder if this might have been one of the last johnny ive um designed products to be made before he left apple because it does kind of strike me as something that he would put together right um but just aesthetically as a look the best thing i love about them is maybe this little hinge here right this little silver stainless steel hinge is the best thing i love about them but those cups look so big they remind me of like a mouse right the old like apple mouse and the headband is ugly as hell like i just don't like anything about these headphones whatsoever man it comes in black here and of course you got the sky blue the pink uh and the green but jesus they look so terrible i guess in some respect in some respects if you could if you want to depending on how they put them together you probably could maybe snap different pods different uh, um uh, cups on different bands maybe maybe that's a bit a thing but oh, not a fan at all um custom acoustic design it says here from the canopy of the ear cushions every part of the airpod max is carved carefully crafted to provide exceptional acoustic performance for um each user the breathable knit mesh canopy spanning the headband is made to distribute um, weight and reduce on head pressure. The stainless steel headband frame provides strength, flexibility and comfort for a wide variety of head shapes and sizes. Telescoping headband arms are smoothly extended to stay in place. Each ear cup attaches to the headband through a revolutionary mechanism. Okay, cool. That balances the distribution each ear pressures. Um, and allows it to independently pivot to rotate uh, the fit and unique contours of the user's head oh nice each ear cushion uses acoustically engineered memory foam to create an effective seal okay oh man this keeps doing that and moving i've got this bug in to get off my thing so let's change that again apologies go back to it again boom um each ear cup da, 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 da. okay cool so again just look wise we know what you know, don't need to read out all the stats but just in terms of look 
I'm not a fan personally. Um, again, the price retail is like 500 or something, right? Look how big they look. They look absolutely so all worded. Like they look horrendous as headphones. Again, maybe it's the first iteration, right? Apple always do this. I think the first Apple Watch wasn't the best looking thing. Didn't have the greatest of features. The battery time wasn't the best. You had to use it with your phone. And then as they sort of iterated, you know, different versions, um, obviously listen to some of the complaints from customers, change some things around. It's now become one of the best smart watches out there available. So there probably is an opportunity for them to maybe do that later on. I'm sure they'll probably come with another item with a different price point. But there was, um, I forgot who said it recently. Someone said on Twitter about maybe this is a bit of a mistake that they made such an ugly headphone and put it at such high price that it's essentially going to turn people off from ever buying the headphones at all when if they maybe would have come in with a this is not really apple's way of doing stuff if they maybe would have come in at a price point that was a sort of middle ground between this 500 dollar price range they had at the moment they could have maybe attracted more customers just to kind of test them out for the sake of being apple fanboys because this is definitely a pair of headsets that you're going to have to there's going to be a a segment of people that are going to just buy it straight up but it's going to be a lot of people that are going to wait until the reviews come out and for the most for the most from what i've seen online so i did my research for my headphones if they, i don't think there's a big i don't think there's a more pickier group of techno um a group of tech gadget fans that exist out there than audio files like they are insane with the level of detail they go into with the reviews they really dissect products and take them apart in every way possible when they put up their reviews so if these headphones don't come up to scratch they will let the world know about them so this might serve as a real bad way to introduce something at such a high level at such a high price point especially a new item um especially yeah brand new item in that as well and then you've got this really odd carrying case that you're meant to be using that reminds me a little bit of just a the Blenchalga Pre 4 collection recently, they had these bags where they were sort of made out of trainers. Maybe that's sort of one of the inspirations, I don't know, but regardless, they are terrible. Um, it says here the AirPod Star, was it the AirPad Max? Oh my goodness, the AirPad Max available um, to order starting today from 549 from Apple.co.uk, of course, and the store from 125 countries. Jesus Christ, 549 pounds. That is just one of the most insane prices I've seen for an entry level or for the first entry level, um, you know, over the head earphones from Apple. Especially when you consider you could probably get a pretty decent pair for around what? 200 to 300 pounds from various different brands out there from bose to sony who are the two of the maybe leading um bluetooth headphone brands out there at the moment or wireless headphone brands out there at the moment um of course people like pioneer sennheiser i i i have got a great pair of headphones you could use again that that mechanism here that silver stainless steel sort of frame thing is the best thing about it like that looks beautiful that mechanism um design wise but god almighty they look awful they look like the kind of things you wear a gun range like they look insanely insanely so unnecessarily big a digital crown that lets you precisely control your volume or skip tracks like okay i guess so sounds like an epiphany again it probably would have they probably would have gone away a long way to kind of get people to buy these if they would have just sent out a couple of review pairs you know to the usual people you know mk bhd maybe casey nice a few other people right just kind of some lifestyle heads just to kind of you know mix it up a little bit because god almighty is a bad i can't wait to see who the first dj is to wear these behind the booth as well because you know someone's gonna do that someone's gonna be different and plug them into their flipping mixer but oh my god man they just look so horrible i'm not a fan of these at all not for me, thank you. 20 hours of battery life isn't that decent either, is it? Is it? Isn't that great either, is it? But hey, what do I know? Let me know your thoughts, man. Are you going to get a pair of the app, Apple AirPod Max? I keep calling it AirPod, AirPod Air Max, AirPod apple airpods max airpod max airpod max airpod max will you get a pair yourself? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know your thoughts regarding it. Jesus Christ. Anyway, let's end.